to install the timing cam, ignition cam. There's a part number on there and there's an arrow right there. You want that arrow to always be facing you. There's nothing on the back side but the arrow facing you. The key, it's got a taper end on it that goes to the bottom. You put that right on there, that's on there like that. That's all they are to putting a cam on there. It's that easy. The backing plate, the alignment notch goes to the bottom. You put that on there and the latch is in the hole down there. Okay, in the back, the cinch up screw, you hold that pressure against it, against the housing, lock that down. That's tight. Okay, that's good to go. The wavy washer that takes up the slack in this system. Okay, y'all watch this right here. I'll show you how to adjust the points on a Model 72. This is all, this is all that is entailed in adjusting the points on a Model 72. They said it 20 thousandths. If you've got a good coil and a good condenser, then you set your points on 20,000. If you have a weak coil, you can close this gap up. And the engine will still run. So there are some, some uh, but you turn, when you turn it around, you know where the gap is on that, on that ignition cam. Where that gap is, that's the free play. The way it would start, you turn it to where that it, that fiber cam is on the high part of the lobe right there. Loosen up this screw right here. Everything is, is free to move now. You move this backing plate. You see that movement right in there? Okay, that, that right there, that's about an eighth of an inch. I only want 20 thousandths. 20 thousandths is this much right here on this feeler gauge. And, 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 and I advise you to use a feeler gauge. Don't be looking up in yonder or using a piece of cardboard. Get yourself a bona fide certified feeler gauge. And that's, uh, and, 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 and on the get go, if you're not familiar with 20 thousandths, then just familiarize yourself where 20 thousandths is and you can use that as just initial setting put the feeler gauge back in there oh that's pretty good i'm going to leave that as is that's there is a little bit of resistance and check it again actually the best thing to do is to come around and and check it that's 20 thousandths you know Actually, you, you know what, being honest, that's about 19 thousandths. Uh, that's good. That is good. We, we are going to check this coil and condenser for spark. To test the spark on an engine without it running, this is the procedure. I've got a 6-volt battery right here. It's a 6-volt battery. See it? Okay, the 6-volt battery, the positive terminal, the jumper wire comes around to the fixed point part. It's just that one little circuit right there that that connects to. You put a piece of paper uh, between the points. The On a two-cylinder, you ground either one of the spark plug terminals. It don't matter. I just used the jumper wire here grounded it around to the backing plate right there with a jumper wire. These are high voltage and sometimes if you're using these little 12 gauge right here it'll uh, it'll light you up so I did elect to put a one spark plug wire on it here and what you do it's you use a six volt battery test the system to see if it has a spark you hold this spark plug wire about a quarter of an inch or so away from the backing plate and then you rub this ground wire from the battery on the movable point blade. That should produce a spark at the spark plug wire, which would be the spark plug. This is will be the results of this. 
Can y'all see that spark? That means that this ignition system is operating. You can pretty well rule out this as being a problem of this engine starting on the first get-go. Uh, this does put a pretty good current in the system, so, you know, just try it. Don't be fooling around with it. Just get it done and, and prove it and go on to something else. Anywhere on that. And all, all that has been done to this system is cleanup. Nothing more. Just a cleanup only. We, we have confirmed that we have a operating coil and condenser